Scientists have resurrected 100 million year old life forms. As reported by Gizmodo, an international team of scientists have revived microbes found in 100 million year old sediment, giving us a peek into what life was like on Earth long, long before humans. The team, led by microbiologist Yuki Morono from the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology, placed the microbes in laboratory conditions. The microbes then came back to life and began eating and multiplying. So how can life forms survive for 100 million years? According to research published in the journal Nature Communications, the microbes were living in low energy conditions, which allowed them to, quote, retain their metabolic potential. Once nutrients were introduced into the lab environment, the microbes woke up and started going about their microbial business as if no time had passed. Now, before you start worrying about a zombie apocalypse, keep in mind that these weren't dead organisms that some mad scientists brought back to life. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. I'm no scientist myself, but it seems to me that this is kind of like how bears go into hibernation. They place their bodies in a low energy state to conserve energy since food is sparse during the winter. Then in the spring, they wake back up and are super hungry. These microbes are kind of like tiny little bears, I guess. It's time I introduce myself to that picnic basket. The sediment that housed the microbes was extracted from 245 feet below the seafloor in the South Pacific. In this environment, virtually no organic material was found, specifically no carbon, which is what the microbes use for food. And since they couldn't eat, they essentially went to sleep. The sediment itself was dated to about 101 and a half million years ago, which is how the scientists found the approximate age of the microbes. So what's the point of all this? scientists wanted to see how long life can sustain itself on Earth without nutrients, this may also help us understand how life forms might survive on other planets like Mars that don't have the same nutrient-rich environment we do. For all your gaming, entertainment, and sometimes science news, stay tuned to IGN.